Hello my Lineage OS brothers and sisters, how are you doing? Today I'm gonna talk about Lineage OS X86. X86 means it can run on laptops and on them Windows kind of tablets, you know, even UEFI tablets, you know, will be able to run this version of Android. It's um, the first build worldwide and it was created by Jeek Till It Hurts, that's my friend. And I'm really uh, proud of him, so I want a random applause. Thank you so much, because Jeek deserves it. He was the very first one uh, to release this build on the 3rd uh, of this year. I mean, like, that that's really great, right? So, thumbs up there, uh, Jeek. Um, unfortunately, I tried to install it on my tablet and i got some not booting tablet so for me it was not working okay probably because of my device and probably because he still needs to it's very experimental it's in an experimental state it will work sooner or later on this tablet okay but i will just have to wait a bit uh you by the way uh can go ahead and download the the iso file it's zipped i think seven zipped and then you unpack it and in there you will find the iso file just you know um create a bootable usb stick you will have to do it if you're using windows with uh power iso or with rufus will be fine uh unit booting unfortunately is not letting me boot from from that build so yeah I'm doing it with power ISO so let's get started and uh, let's get our USB stick ready we need a Windows computer and of course a USB stick with some space so let's get started so what we are gonna do uh, we are gonna install 7.11 and uh, I'm gonna create a bootable USB stick uh, this time with uh i could do it with rufus or i could do it with tja, i could do it with power iso so let's just go for power iso all right right mouse click power iso run as administrator give permission to start yeah there it is continue on register this is completely free we go to tools make usb uh, create bootable usb drive we select and then we go for the image file it's on our desktop here it is um, android x86 64 bit 7.1.1.1 okay this uh this is in fact the, the first build um that uh of this of this android version that that you will see this is the first video here on, on YouTube showing 7.11, 64-bit, you know, install on the ViewSonic ViewPad 10. So, yeah, you have a very primeurtje vandaag. So, it's prime time, prime time, peeps. It's prime time. Okay, let's see what we have here, ladies and gentlemen. What is this thing on or what? Ah, it was, it was still on. You see that? And uh, this is uh, about what we're gonna create. Although this uh, is running 7.1. You see that? This is Android 7.1. And the kernel was by Utente, Utente Desktop number seven. I don't know who that is. These guys are anonymous, man. Uh, so we did create the drive the drive is done okay so we're gonna pop out the drive we're gonna close the windows computer we're gonna put this thing to stand it's only good for a stand the keyboard is not working anymore in the thing useless it died out of nothing. How can a thing like this die? How can a keyboard die? I mean like, these things have no common sense. They die out of nothing. 
we pop in the keyboard and of course the USB stick and then we're gonna press power and kill the beats boom now we're gonna turn it on and we're gonna hit F11 to, for me it's F11 on this on this tablet but it, uh, on, on this on this Acer Iconia it's F10 for instance so you must look here at the bottom it's saying F11 to boot from device so this did not work so I don't know what 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 the crap this is sometimes my keyboard is found and sometimes it's not found F11 okay there we are and we're just gonna hit the USB boot we're gonna select installation I hope you can kind of see it I'm, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit for you there okay uh, then we're gonna I already have a X4 partition okay but if you have some NTFS partition here you will first have to you know boot up with um, with Gparted for instance and then in Gparted you're gonna you know wipe all these these drives okay then you have one drive left you format it repartition it you can partition it in x4 because you're gonna install Android so I already have my x4 partition here you see that these partitions here are from the USB stick so I'm gonna say SDA1 and we're gonna say yes format x4 here we're gonna say choose uh, to format SDA blah 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 are you sure you want to format of course I'm sure so now we're formatting the partition and it's gonna ask us in the next step if we want to install the bootloader grub what do you think for yourself should we install that yes or no of course you must install it otherwise it will not boot so you must say yes do you want to install system directory as read write making system be read write is is easier for debugging but it needs more disk space and longer installation time i would say yes you know just go for it voila so now it's gonna write In fact, it's installing Android now. And after this, we will be having Android 7.11, the latest, very latest version that you can get for PC. And I must tell you, my friends, this is, is, is yeah, it's, it's still on official, eh? but um. I don't know why these guys built it in the Play Store. You know, it should not be in, in, in the system. In fact, yeah, Play Store is, is something you should also never ask developers uh, about that. Eh? Because, in fact, these guys, they are kind of creating ROMs, but they have no deal with Google. So they cannot go ahead and insert uh, gaps just for you because you, you want, you are a noob and you don't know where to get your apps. You know, because that's just how it is. If you're gonna install a custom ROM, you should not be crying for gaps. For gaps, gaps, gaps are not allowed in 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 these things. These guys have no deals with Google. Google software is not open source. Android is open source, but the, the apps are not open source. These Google apps, they are not open source. And at this point here, it would reboot the machine again. You see but in this case it's booting into Android so this is the latest very latest version that you're looking at and this could be lineage this is just the same thing in fact um, as as lineage the installing goes just like that so you cha in fact I'm not showing you whatever you're gonna download uh, but you will also be able to download this one. I will also uh, uh, put this this link up for you guys uh, on my media fire. You will I will put I put some link because you know what um, CM13 created the RC1 and in some way, my friends, um, the, the 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 build before the RC1 
uh, that one had no no market installed it had no you know no google play store etc um, was way better and worked really good on this tablet that while you know the version that they now have the 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 rc1 it 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 just it just blows it blows for real i don't know why these guys are inserting gaps and and, and doing all these things you know i don't know why maybe it was an unofficial port i think that's what it, that's what that's just what it was because the first one you know without gaps the straight up forward cm13 that i showed a nice video of you know worked really good also with this 7.11 you will find out that the thing will not be rooted it will say that it's rooted but when you're gonna when you want to use root it will not work so here you can see that we we just installed android 7.11 and this is in fact uh what it is they uh inserted some some pink of grass in between i don't even know what kind of color it is background and the first warning that we get google play service has stopped you see so that's why you guys should not insert these things google play service i mean like you guys are not google you you are not allowed to do that you should not do it for real google play service has stopped so what i do when i get these roms these these sorts of roms i immediately go to apps you see and then uh, i will go to the play service disable disable app and force stop that's what i do you see because i don't want to violate no 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 deals that are not meant to be i'm just turning it off and for real yo you de developers yo don't don't be don't be the slave of 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 these these users that want to download your stuff you, you are not a slave if they want gaps let them find gaps themselves you don't have to put it for them because you're gonna get yourself in trouble one day and it's not worth it it's just not worth it so i'm disabling this google play store it's it's that is not open source this is from google you need permission to to have this in your system many people don't know they think android is open source you can do what you want you cannot if you if google get pissed, pissed off and 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 he, he, they don't like whatever you created you, you just got yourself a, a big problem i'm gonna turn on the wi-fi here because i see that the wi-fi is not on Go to the settings, Wi-Fi, turning it on, turn on Wi-Fi, but I don't see the light going on here. We need a little light that must turn on. Wi-Fi works 100%, <clears throat> but this is, I think, just an issue. You see the Wi-Fi is on <laughs> you just have to turn it on it takes a little before it. this is uh, the few pet uh, few pet ten eh? and oh yeah here at the bottom you can find your keyboard eh? here at the bottom and then you can say turn it on okay so let me let me put my password And the keyboard it, it 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 types really nice you see that so now we are connected to the internet um yeah it has the chrome browser and it has some look and feels that i most of the times immediately change you see if you have no google play store installed then you can do two things you can go to the internet yeah uh, and get one mobile market and then you will be having apps 
in in under 10 minutes you know you will be downloading apps or you can of course um, simply but let me show you about the system first because here you can see it I'm, I'm not sure if you can read it here it's saying Android 7.11 let me bring it a little bit closer you see that I mean like if you don't believe me then that is your problem okay what is it saying Bluetooth share has stopped okay I don't care about Bluetooth um, so this is installed and now in fact I'm gonna I'm gonna play with the thing and I'm gonna give it uh, some look and feels oh yeah by the way if you want to open a USB stick just go to downloads here and then you will find the USB stick here at the button and up here you can simply uh, go ahead and install I'm gonna put another launcher 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 So there we go Let's take a look at that Oh hello 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 my dear Bonjour Ah, ça c'est très belle, hein? Ça c'est très très belle. Je pense so belle. And je weet het wel. So we all have this now. This is now kind of fixed. We're gonna say, no, no, no. I launcher always. Don't be like that to me, man. Ooh, look at that. Regardez. C'est très 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 belle. So we're gonna go to downloads again. Let's give this thing an iNote. Let's pimp it a little bit. Let me show you how to do these things. As I said, root is um, is available. You can turn it on, but unfortunately, the apps don't get root access. Enable accessibility. Oops. Hey. On. Yes. Let me go back and then. Uh -huh. So what? What should I do now? And then notifications. Of course, you must also turn on. And then you will get the on top bar here. You see that? Beautiful, huh? beautiful so that's it let me go back to inote here boom if we can i think that's it see that um but i don't want to go back to inote enable uh, show signal show battery percentage um, Custom courier name Tele48. How about that? Sounds great, right? Tele48. Bonjour, Tele48. So there we are. Très belle. So I'm 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 already feeling kind of home. This this system, I must say, uh, it 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 feels it feels good. It feels good. Yeah. So that was it. That was android 7.11 on a x86 tablet that's how to install it that's how to get things going i hope you like this video i didn't like it at all I, I i i think it sucked but i hope you liked it it's all about you it's not about what i think right so um once again have a nice evening peace out be nice to each other mm. and au revoir ciao ching bye bye Good morning, Tudulu.